Here I will show you how to transfer a drawing onto a lino block using transfer paper. The thinner the paper, the better. My drawing is on normal printer paper, but I wouldn't go much thicker than that. Begin by cutting out your drawing, but leave a couple of extra inches on one of the longer sides. Fold the extra paper over to make a hinge. Fold the hinge over the side of the block and tape it to the back. The type of tape does not matter so long as it stays put. This is the brand of transfer paper that I use. It comes in different colors, but I find white to be the easiest to see on gray linoleum. You could also use graphite paper for this. Slide the transfer paper between the drawing and the linoleum. Be sure that the powdery side is facing down. If it faces up, the white powder will transfer onto the back of your drawing instead of onto the lino block. You may need an extra piece of tape to secure everything. Trace over your lines, but be sure to double check that the transfer paper is facing the right direction. It's okay if the transfer paper moves around while you're drawing, but the drawing that's taped in place should not move at all. This transfer method is nice because the pigment it lays down doesn't lift off the way graphite does, or smear the way red oxide or chalk pastel does. Once you've finished going over your entire drawing, you can make corrections with your pencil if needed. I find the lines made using this method too wide and bright, so I use a damp paper towel to lightly brush a little of the extra powder off. Now you're ready to begin cutting the plate. Unless you don't like what you've drawn, in which case you can take the whole thing off with a wet paper towel and maybe a little sanding if needed. At this point you haven't actually altered the block at all, 